I enjoy being in the limelight. Fame brings opportunity and prosperity to achieve my plans for Tropico. I need the world's eye focus on me. I've decided that tourism is the logical starting point for my pursuit of recognition. The small island of Caralibro just gained its independence at a very high cost. The British collect 20% of all export profits from the island. Tourism, however, is exempt from any such taxes. Foreigners will flock to the beaches for a bit of fun in the sun and then spread the word about El Prez around the globe. Well, it sounds like we're going to build a giant uh, luxury casino tourist trap with beaches and stuff. Neat. Uh, sunny beaches, magnificent vistas, and pachanga all day long. Welcome to Cara Libro. El Priz, the most awesome person in the world. Traffic time. Yeah, yeah, basically. Well, uh, here we are. Presidente, this place is much prettier than the last two islands we were on. It's perfect for a tourist trap. I mean resort. Exactly. Keep in mind that there are a few natural resources we can exploit here, and the commodity prices are low. Oh, keep in mind that there are a few natural resources we can exploit here, and the commodity prices are low. Yeah, see, one little word can change the whole meaning of a sentence. Tourism is our only sound choice. I suggest we start by building accommodations to lure some tourists to Car Cara Libra. Build five bungalows. You'll need to build a tourist dock for building any accommodations. Yeah, I've never built a tourist city before, but I don't think it'll be impossible. We just really just have to, um, it might even be easier than what I usually do. I don't know. Right. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Oh, those red rocks are pretty. We can, we can make some people pay a dollar to watch that. Mm hmm got a decent enough beach and another beach Oh, this little area is gonna be nice for tourism I'm not sure we can maybe we can put the uh, the stuff you have to have just to run an island right here well let me see we've got corn don't we yeah we got corn all Go the normal it. shut up all the normal stuff I'm gonna have to knock all this crap down later because it's too close to my palace. But we'll get to that. Okay, we're going to build a tourist dock. Right over here. There we go. Gonna build a road. Well, let me see. I don't want to mess up the beach too much. I want some beach front. If we're going to have tourism. Of course we can always just knock this junk down. Now. It wants me to build bungalows. Average tourist accommodation for one family. Visitors all tourists. Okay. That's why they want me to use that. I'm going to build. I think I'm going to build a motel. Well. Because I have to pay for the blueprint. Yeah, I'm just going to build the motel right now. First thing you see. A motel. Alright. We don't have any of this other stuff. But we're going to need stuff for the people to come look at. Alright, I have to build the hotel first. We're just going to have to wait a minute. Oh, and I have to set up schools and all that junk again. Man. might take a little bit I have to set up really everything all over again let's build a main road let's build a main road well that's as far as it goes right we can use this road <coughs> to you know start building all the stuff off of well that's cool we're gonna have to uh, take some tourists up there We'll build a little, uh, I think there's actually tourism things, like a guide place. We'll build it right up here, and then they can walk up this mountain and go all up in there and stuff. It'll be cool. 
Um, yeah. So I need like the normal old stuff that you need to run the island. First things first, we're gonna have some fish in places. Because we gotta have some food. And them tourists like sushi, I'm pretty sure. Put it right up here. I try and keep it, um, like, not right up on where the tourists live. You know what I mean? Put a little bit of distance between uh, the fisheries and all that. Okay. Can't see through those trees. There, I'll just quickly set all this up. Got a garage. Do we have all the other things? Construction thing, Teamsters, and another garage. Okay. Right. We've got corn and fish. And a population of 50. That's not that many. But thankfully, this stuff ought to get built pretty fast. What? Thanks to your success on Isla de Haro, Presidente, the mines there are operating at peak production. Oh, that's cool. We will receive additional funds from Isla de Haro. If my estimates are correct, we'll gain around $2,000 every six months. We should invest in more hotels and attractions, Presidente. That's neat. <clears throat> We've got a little bit of income for those mines. It's not much, but it ought to keep us out of debt. Um, we still can't build any attractions because it's not built yet. That one hotel. Oh god, we're poor again. I can't build giant statues just everywhere. Well, we'll get it built back up. And I am probably still going to farm some. Because <clears throat> uh, I did used to be a farmer before I was a dictator. And I like my food variety, and I don't really want to import it. Although we could just import absolutely everything. Never done that before. And just make everything super touristy. I think that is really the no, goal. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just do that. Maybe I won't even farm. We'll just import everything. The motel is a place of dubious reputation. The local guests are bikers, truckers, and roach exterminators. Where did we get truckers? We, the island's not that big. If the manager if the manager isn't one Norman Bates or his mother, you can give this cheap hotel a try at your own risk, of course. Yeah. Right. Tourist dock isn't done. Tourists are just trustful folk, and the sight of your industrial dock will make them sail away faster than you can say Shawshank Redemption. Probably a good idea. We do have all them banjo players over by the dock. The passenger dock will allow these nitwits to enter your island from a more presentable location. Nice. If it would ever get built. <sighs> yeah, the worker is running here. ¿Qué necesita? Um... That means we don't have enough garages somehow. I'm not real sure how to fix that. I only have $8,000, so I don't want to I don't want to fix the logistics right now. She's just going to have to run. Hey, the fishery's starting. We'll have all kinds of fish. Max imports. About 5,000 sounds right. I don't know. I don't know if I want to import everything because don't don't a lot of luxury places they have their own food. You know, it's it's organic. We can charge ten dollars for a tomato. So we probably will have some of our own food. We've already got corn and fish. Man, I'm just gonna speed it up. Cause this dock's taking forever, and I can't build any tourist stuff without it. Right. There we go. Uh, good. We need uneducated people because I don't have a school right now. Right. Wait, nope. Attractions. Tour office. Eco tourists. I don't have any of those. Visitors, slob, eco children, tourists. 
slob spring break tourists hold up what does this one cater to all tourists okay cool right I'm going to have a souvenir shop that's the first thing you need if you're gonna have tourists souvenirs there and oh crap they have to have to have been to high school already we're gonna have to have education doesn't that just suck can't do one thing without the other there it is education and media that's where to keep that high school let me guess you need high school educated people to um run the high school don't you probably that's probably the case Okay. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, you sure do. Tropico is currently short on cash. What is your take on the situation, Penultimo? I blame my next door neighbor. I know you are not paying your taxes, you old grown. Dang it. Well, there's only one house in the whole island, so it's one of these. It's her right there. Nope, I misclicked. It's her. She's not paying taxes. She's paying rent at least. But yeah, good job, Multimo. Uh, finding the old lady. Not paying her taxes. I see. I thought I saw a three headed llama. Right. Well, we're kind of back to just waiting around for money again and things to be built. Alright, see, the lower and middle class tourists just love souvenir shops. They can't restrain themselves from buying even the most useless junk. After they return home, tourists proudly present their souvenir trophies to family and friends. Yeah. Uh, t-shirts. Slob and spring break tourists are crazy about Tropico brand t-shirts. Uh, improved carts and crafts improve service quality by 20%. But only eco and wealthy tourists can visit this building. Now we'll go with t-shirts because I'd rather have t-shirts. At least you can wear it. Hey, we got money. Somewhere. Nice. Hire a teacher. So we won't be completely retarded. And I'm going to go ahead and slap up a college in a minute. Because the earlier you can get those things rolling, the better I think. Well, hurry up now. Build that high school. We can't build a college without a high school. Yeah, well, anyway, it's almost done. Got good corn production. There it is. Nice. Good. We got 2,000 more dollars. Is that done yet? Hurry up now. Can I build the high school yet? Our hot topic today, Liberty. Do you think we need more well, media on the island? Just wait a minute. Absolutely not, Sonny. Tropical news today already provides the most objective information. More media would just be redundant. As long as TNT is on the air, freedom of speech for all tropicans is more or less guaranteed. Also, for Multimo, I have built a newspaper before. They don't do much. Man, I guess the worker ran off to take a lunch break or something. And she forgot to put the doorknob on the high school. Okay, and we'll put a college right next to the high school. I think that's the front of it. There we go. And go ahead and hire somebody. Because we got to get some people tall. Everybody's stupid around here. And it takes a long time to build up that pool of uh, educated people. But those two colleges should probably do it. Let's see, what grows good around here? Papayas, pineapple, and sugar. I right, will just keep for the corn for now. Can't you make sugar out of corn? Well, we, we probably don't have that kind of technology around here, so we'll just not bother with that. Hey, we got a volcano. Cool. 
we can uh, we can um, I don't know we'll hike the tourists up there and let them look in the volcano or something charge them fifty dollars for the privilege these clouds are nice and again the red rocks and the uh, the the bridge of doom these white rocks are nice some cliffs hey we got tourists I wasn't even paying attention yep there some old people what is this these prices are outrageous yeah nice we got some Americans I've never even looked at these screens before I've never bothered with tourism I hope this vacation will be fun I don't know about that but if you if you find your if you find something to do I mean it's a big island tropical island I'm not gonna stop you from doing nothing so if you're creative you can have all kinds of fun that that's 25 alright so I was kinda interrupted and I had to make a cut here but uh, I'm about over the time so uh, I'm gonna end this episode here uh, I have been El Chapo Zoo uh, come on down next time and we're gonna rob some more tourists of their money alright goodbye